All right, guys, what are we working on this week? You're joking, right? What's the problem? I'm not doing what is ASMR. OK, fine. How about what is silver scrapes instead? Ooh, great. How about another form of sound torture? Thanks. Music is a universal language that's capable of bringing people together. And in eSports, you'll have a hard time finding a song that's done that more effectively than Silver Scrapes. League of Legends fans were first introduced to Silver Scrapes at the Season 2 World Championship, when Riot's inexperience running a major international tournament caused nearly endless technical delays that were filled with this. Did I miss anything? One eternity later. Oh my god, this is too much. But back then, viewers didn't realize they were witnessing the birth of League of Legends' new competitive anthem. Silver Scrapes predates Season 2 Worlds, though. Actually, Silver Scrapes itself was made in probably four days. I did have a deadline, a very strict deadline, but I didn't have any money, and um, I actually wrote Silver Scrapes on a 10-year-old laptop. Despite the out-of-date hardware he was working with, McCarthy churned out a true... Say it. A true masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> but Silver Scrapes didn't find immediate fame. The song was originally uploaded by McCarthy to Killer Tracks, a pay-to-use music library and surprisingly not a Thomas the Tank Engine themed horror game. You Silver Scrapes can still be found on there too. Well, if you search some of its extremely baffling tags. Arousing, futuristic, space adventure, what the hell? Ooh. Anyway. In 2012, Riot Games just happened to be using killer tracks. And during Season 2 Worlds, when all hell was breaking loose behind the scenes, someone left Silver Scrapes on loop, forever burning it into the memories of fans waiting for the technical delays to end. I um, had some friends that were League of Legends players, and they watched it and said, Oh my god, dude, your song was just on League of Legends for like two hours. And then I, I went and looked on YouTube and I had Silver Scrapes was up there for, you know, it had like 500,000 views. And I was like, what? This is crazy. But Silver Scrapes was destined to be more than just a short lived meme about Riot's production crew shitting the bed. The song's popularity persisted and somehow grew. That was the worst shit I ever heard in my life. Over the years, Silver Scrapes has taken on an even deeper meaning for League fans. Riot has taken the blasting the track to hype them up at regional playoffs and international events, whenever a series heads to a fifth game. And as a result, it's become inseparably tied to the competitive scene's history. Make that three kills! The curtain call is a fitting end to the World Championship as Samsung Galaxy are being dove under their tower. SK Telecom have overcome every challenge. They are the undisputed best team in the world. No one could have ever anticipated that Silver Scrapes would become the theme song for one of esports' biggest games. But Riot happily embraced it because they recognized just how powerful music can be. Anthems unite people under a common banner, whether they're ballads declaring national pride, unbreakable tribal traditions, or catalysts for amping up a crowd. And although League fans don't seem that interested in coming up with individual team songs, the simplicity and catchiness of Silver Scrapes has made it a rallying cry they can all get behind. It's even inspired all kinds of covers, from an impressively accurate version played on floppy drives to Mark Z's brave but cringy vocal rendition to whatever the hell this is.
USC's Trojan Marching Band even has their own version of it, which Riot has made League's login music during the annual Collegiate Championships. Well, I must admit, it is kind of catchy. On one hand, Silver Scrapes is remarkable because it transformed from a torturous production mistake into a trigger for nostalgia. A trigger Riot is all too happy to pull if it makes League fans go nuts. But on the other hand, it's a testament to the power of Stockholm Syndrome. You've been convinced that the sound of robots making fart noises is good music. And I'm here to tell you that it's not too late. You don't have to like Silver Scrapes. You don't have to get excited by it. It's a bad song. Do, do, do. No, he's talking about what happens with the sheep. Allegedly. Allegedly. What do you do with the sheep allegedly? It's the same poor Diego with the fucking donkeys in Colombia. Ask about Diego and goats in Colombia. No, donkeys. Donkeys, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Definitely don't want to. Yeah. Don't even Google it. Send me a clip on Grand Paul. It's a bad idea. It's a bad time. Grand Paul is PG, though. Everything's PG if you blur it out.